Okay. Hey guys, uh, this is Daryl. Uh, today we're going to do a tutorial on how to use your Phantom Quad. Uh, this is the Phantom 2, and I want to show you how to use it straight out of the box. I have no additional extra equipment to do a waypoint system, uh, fly it between point A and point B using the fail safe mode. As you know, the fail safe mode can be activated manually and it will fly to your return point uh, or to your takeoff point automatically. What we're going to do today, the shot I want is a long or a shot of the quadcopter heading down the road to the ballpark at Arlington behind me and rather than try and do it manually and get a little bit of, of shaking and movement and not keeping it steady, I want to put it into an automatic GPS mode like it was flying between two waypoints and get it to fly there directly. So in order to do that is instead of taking off here and trying to land it down there, I'm going to go set the home point down there and then I'll show you how to come back and act and then take off from here and let it fly back to its home point which will be there. Um, you, it's a little bit more complicated than just moving it or anything like that. If you try to do it and just pick the copter up and move it, it'll reestablish the home point at your new location. So the way we're going to do it is we're actually going to go establish the home point down there where I want it to land. I'm going to take it off uh, as it, it takes off, I'll hover it up about eye level. I'll actually grab it. Once I grab it, then I will power it down and power it off, but I'll leave it everything on, okay? And then I'm going to walk down to here, set it on the ground, point it the direction I want it to film, and I'll take it off, take it up to the height that I want it. I will start the uh, I'll, I'll turn the transmitter off, that'll put it in its fail safe mode, and it will fly automatically down to the point that I want it to land. So let's go down to where we want it to land, and I'll show you uh, how I'm going to set the, the system up there and where it's going to land and such like that. All right, so here we are at point B, close to the ballpark. Uh, the copter, I want it to fly from point A, which is off camera down this direction up to here okay so I want to establish this as my home point okay once I establish that I'm going to lift it up in the air to about eye level I'll grab it okay and I'm going to slowly power it down till it no longer till the propellers aren't turning anymore and then I'm going to walk down to my point A point where we just left a while ago Leaving the, leaving the transmitter and the unit powered up just without the propellers turning. I'll go down there, I'll lift it off, I'll turn off the propeller, I mean off the uh, transmitter, and it should fly to this point in automatic mode, which should give me a nice steady shot and land here. So that's what I'm going to do now. I just turn the transmitter on. I'm going to turn the unit on. Phantom 2 on. While it's looking for its GPS signal, I'm going to go ahead and turn my GoPro on. The GoPro's on. I'm waiting for the uh, GPS units to blink right. Okay, it has satellite, so it's good to go. Uh, I'm going to take a second GoPro because I need to do a little bit of filming down there. And so right now, I'll power the unit up. Powering down, 
and it shut off. Now I'm going to keep it on. I just won't start up the propeller. I'm going to walk down there to point A, start it up, turn off the transmitter, and let it fly down.